don't think I've, I don't think I've ever been able to like ride in the back like this open because it's so Me illegal. Neither. It's so illegal right. and we're getting it on camera. Ruffles. <laughs> <Rebels. laughs> we're riding it like 10 miles an hour. I think they're gonna go here in a second. We'll find our car in a second. Hey Tested, Simone here and we're in the Black Rock Desert. We're not here for Burning Man, but for an event where they're launching a bunch of rockets. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm getting like my squirrel reaction when you just want to run and hide, but there's nowhere to hide here because it's just open plains. I'm like I'm about to dig a hole in the ground and be like, and I want to go to space. <laughs> what a fraud. <laughs> We're at a launch pad right now and setting up the structures. So we're joining a team led by Clay Reynolds and uh, yeah, we're going to launch a thing. I don't know how high it's going to go. I think it'll go pretty far. Like we have so much propellant that I'm actually a little bit terrified, but I brought my sunglasses. So at least I'll, I'll have safety. I feel protected now. That's how close it was. It would have just gone straight through it. It would have been fine. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. So the rocket is gonna go in this. Okay, yeah. you're just measuring to see that it goes into this rail. Yeah. So this is like the structure that's holding it in place. Yeah, exactly. So the rocket goes, it slides in here. The fins kind of stick out here. Okay. And so this gives it guidance long enough for it to, uh, the aerodynamic forces to get stability to take over on the fins. Yeah, the whole goal is to make sure this tube is the exact same size as the rocket. Yeah. So we want it to slide effortlessly. Free. Yeah. Have you built this structure or is it something that you like buy pre-made? Uh, no, I welded this together in about six hours from parts from Home Depot. Good job. <laughs> Do you have permits to, to launch this stuff? Like, yeah, is that a... yeah. Uh, I mean, we call in an FAA waiver so they route all air traffic around this location. Oh, to sweet. To make sure we don't hit a plane. <laughs> because <laughs> that would be bad. Um, and then we also get BLM permits and stuff, so we're, we're allowed to do this. Do you ever hit birds? Well, you know. Uh, I've, I've never seen anybody hit a bird. The day is young. I don't agree. It needs to go a little bit that way. Yeah, I think it, maybe it pulls a little bit. Okay, so you, the rocket can't be flush against the ground. It needs no. to be propped up. Yeah. But what will the unicorn look like? Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll yeah. Yeah, it'll we'll be. find out. This might be the weirdest thing I've done all day. All day? Shoving a unicorn in under a rocket. That is, eh, hey, it's, it's, it's a, a peak nice of some sort. It's a soft padding for the rocket to sit on. That's all you can yeah. ask for. No. Now let's put the igniter in, the sketchy part. Charlie the unicorn, you're sacrificed for science. <laughs> Try to carefully shove this up through. That, so there's a, there's the propellant core goes all the way up to right there. So, cause the propellants had like this little ring inside of them. So it just needs yeah. to go in that center. Yeah, okay, yeah. do my best. Get, I need the electrical tape. So we're getting ready to launch. I I think we're in a time crush. There might be like a schedule and we need to fit our time slot. But yeah, 
We're just scrambling to get everything in place. Oh, and another one went off. 800 pounds of thrust in this thing. It's like being close to a magnificent creature, like a lion. It's just eat you alive. Nobody's gonna die today. Just Charlie the unicorn. Does anybody know the time? 12. Yeah, the, the fins down here are hitting the rails. I mean, we're kind of at the point where we just have to go with it. What's the worst thing that can happen? <sighs> okay, we're arming the electronics. I'm gonna alarm the electronics and the booster first. Okay, okay, yeah, that would be on the second channel. The second channel's right. Yeah, dude, I'm kind of worried that the fins on the dart might actually hit the tower. Dude, you're gonna miss your Dude, I will have this done. Yeah, you're betting Okay. So it's 21 minutes until they're closing the airspace for the day for the bigger rockets, and everybody's just scrambling to, to get everything together. It's like you need to make sure that you have the GPS coming through, that the wireless launch works, and I mean, that it's not gonna blow up. <laughs> Holy shit, the camera's recording. Yes! I didn't think it was. Okay. And then somebody grab my upper airframe, or my upper frame on this. Uh, the, the top of the dart. Top of the dart? Yeah, the top of the dart. I need the top of the dart. I need, I need that little uh, round nut and a, and a wrench. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh shit, yeah, this could be a problem. No, 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 just, we, I had the extra one. Uh, eight minutes. Yeah, everybody move out back to where you feel comfortable. Yeah, start moving vehicle. God damn it. Okay, I want to double check. Yeah, please. Carbon trap in the face. There it is. Okay, it's in. We're good. Oh shit. Where's my hat? Okay, everybody go. Let's go. Yeah, it's done the boost. Sorry. Oh yeah, that's fine. I think we have like three minutes to spare before they close the airspace. We're doing this, guys. Okay. See what happens. Call it in. Yeah, call it in first. LCO, this is Clay Reynolds out of VR15. When we're ready to go, on your count. Wait. Okay, are we ready to go? Wait, Clay, wait. You are or not? Let me wait. Wait a second. I guess I'm good. Just use your count, Clay. D for the Gertis. Mission. Okay. Holding. Got it. Got it. Going. Oh, Clay, nice Fuck. motor, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. Clay. The motor held. The motor fucking <laughs> the motor held. Motor the motor held. <laughs> right, right. Clay, nice, dude. Oh, hey, yeah. held. <laughs> At least the motor didn't go full speed. It was ripped off, though. Yeah. <laughs> For a second, I was like, oh, shit. Nice work. I know. I just okay, want to see nothing. how Charlie Yo, the unicorn anything. was doing. Uh, I mean, it started. Yeah. Oh, it started. It started held, and then once the CT moved. Uh, that was really stressful. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Five minutes before the waiver closed, I was like, yeah, I, I was freaking out. But what happened? Because yeah. it did like the corkscrew thing. Um. So I think what happened was, as the propellant burned, it moved um, the the center of gravity so far forward that the fin started kind of rocking back, and it started kind of doing a corkscrew. And when that happened, it probably turned sideways. And then. Do you think you're going to be able to find it? No. Yeah. No. Really? No. Wait, you don't have GPS on it? No, yeah, it, it as soon as it turned the GPS. Ah, oh, shucks. How much yeah. money did you spend on it? Uh, 500, 800 bucks. I'm sorry. Someone will find it eventually. <laughs> yeah, how do, you, how do you feel? I feel pretty good actually. Uh, that was a, I made the motor and the propellant. I actually made the carbon fiber case that went in it and the motor worked perfectly. Yeah. So it wasn't a problem with the rocket motor, it was a problem just with kind of like the design of the fins. And so that's an easy fix and I can redo it and, and next year it'll work. That's sweet. So I'm pretty excited. You learn something every time. Yeah. So definitely not the worst thing that's happened 
Oh, definitely watch. not. Oh yeah, if it just blew up on the pad, that would have been the worst, worst thing, thing to happen. It, it, it actually went somewhere. I was testing a motor very similar to this and we, we dug a hole, we put the motor upside down just to like static test it so it wouldn't go anywhere. And we lit the motor and it had so much thrust that it just went straight down into the water table. Uh, it went down into the ground at about 40 miles an hour. How far did it dig itself down? Uh, it hit the water table at about 15 feet underground. And then when it hit the water table, it just stopped. Yeah, I tried digging it out. I spent like two days trying to dig it out. And then when I came back the next day, the whole hole that I dug filled with water. No. Oh. Because it was below the water table. <laughs> so it's, it's in the desert too. So it was in, this launch wasn't minus 18 feet. It was probably, yeah, yeah. how far do you think it went? I mean... Uh, I love that we're looking at... Probably, yeah, we're like... Mm. Looking at the sky as if there would be a point of reference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it probably turned sideways at like three or 4,000 feet. Yeah. And then it probably went about five or six miles that way. Holding. Got it. Got it. Go on. I just want to know what happened to Charlie. <laughs> this is going to be a trophy on my wall. This is everything that's left. Is that all you yeah. can find? There's, there's the some hole. other small pieces. But <laughs> let's go the whole oh, wow. Uh, this is uh, a so to prop up the rocket, we put in a stuffed unicorn because that's all they had at hand. And this is what is left of Charlie the unicorn. <laughs> happier days but oh wow that's a hole charlie's eyeball, <laughs> charlie's eyeball. wow he's really wow, obliterated yeah. <laughs> charlie died <laughs>